What's going on, mobile gamers? Today I'm going to show you guys everything you need to know about playing Nintendo 64 on your Odin 2. Let's jump in and up our gaming knowledge. Okay, mobile gamers, so this part is mostly for organizational sakes. I like to keep my stuff organized, so the first thing we're going to do is go to our files. We're going to go to the three lines. We're going to select a folder of choice, so either your external SD card or your internal SD card. I have all of my data on my external SD card for this, and we're going to create a folder called N64. Now, you can name it Nintendo 64, whatever you like. I named mine N64. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select and create a folder called games. Now, all of my games are going to be located in here. This isn't a video to show you how to get games, but the Internet Archives is a great place to get them. Now, this is all my games that I'm just going to be showing you today. We're going to click back. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video because I'm showing you how to play Nintendo 64 on your Odin 2. The next thing we're going to do is install our emulator. This is the emulator that I highly recommend you to install. There is a free version. The free version doesn't have as many features as the paid version does. You can look into that yourself. Now, I paid for the paid version, of course. As you see here, you can just click install for me. I highly recommend paying for this because it does have a bunch of different features that the free version doesn't have, and I'm not going to cover that. Let's install this. Now, this is where we're going to set up our game folder. Click allow. Let it initialize. Click the plus icon and select that folder where your games are that I showed you at the beginning. So I'm going to click select folder. I'm going to go to my N64 folder, go to games and click use this folder. Click allow. Now it's going to load up all the games that I have inside of there and even their box art. This part's going to cover setting up your graphics. Now graphics are dependent on you, the user, but I like to set up my graphics this way. So we're going to go to our three lines at the top. Go to settings, go to display, our rendered resolution. We're going to set it to the highest quality. So I scrolled all the way to the top. We're going to go down to our screen scaling. Now this is going to be up to preference. If you want to have a boxed screen, that's going to be just the original. It adds black bars. Stretch, of course, stretches out the display. Stretch 16 by 9 will give you black bars at the top and the bottom. I like to just click stretch. I like the way it looks and that's all up to my preference. You don't need to touch anything else in here. I will show you one quick thing for certain games when we actually navigate to them because this is very important for games like Donkey Kong Country if you don't want to have black bars around the edges. Now we're going to set up our controller. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to navigate to settings, go to touch screen, we're going to go to button opacity, and we're going to turn that all the way down to zero and click OK. Now we're going to actually set up our physical controller, go down to profiles, now we're going to select controller. Now our default controller is going to be based off of our actual Odin device. So right now our Odin device is set up to have the A and the B right here. Whereas a Nintendo 64 controller, which I'm going to show you on the screen right now, our A is down here and our B is right here. So I'm going to click new and I'm going to set up my N64 Odin setup. Click OK. And now you can select the buttons for each controller. So let's go click L for L, which is my L1. R1 is my R1. You can select whatever buttons you want for this. My Z is going to be my M1, which is my back button on the back. My S is the start button. So I'm going to click the start button. A is down on the B. B is on the Y. And our C pad, I like to use my right joystick for this. So I'm going to go to C over, C left, down, up, D pad is pretty straightforward, which is our D-pad on the left-hand side if you've ever held a gaming controller before. Analog is our left analog stick, which is our joystick at the bottom of our N64 controller. And then we have our hotkeys. So we have our save slot. I like to use my L2 for my save slot, and that's all up to preference. If you don't want to use save states, then all the power to you. Don't even press a button for that. I like to fast forward my games sometimes, so I'm going to use my R2. And that's about it. I don't need to set up anything else because our Odin 2 has a back button so that we can actually navigate to our menu if we need to or anything else. I'm going to click back, click back again. Now we need to actually set that profile. We have to go to our profiles, go select profile, go down to controller one profile and set it to that N64 Odin setup profile as we just did. And we should be able to play our game the way that we want to. 
I'm going to load up Nintendo 64 Donkey Kong. I'm going to load this up just because I'm going to show you one of these little bugs that it's not really a bug. It's just the way that the game renders and I don't like the way that it renders. So I'm holding down my fast forward button and I'm going to show you the little black bars as you can see on the outside of the screen. Now I'm going to save my state, click back, click exit, click OK. Now if you want to edit any settings within your game, you can click the game, go down to settings. I'm going to uncheck zoom. I'm going to set my zoom to 110% on Donkey Kong Country. Go back, go back to resume. And now those black bars are gone. You can mess around with this however you want. As soon as those black bars are gone, then that's basically the best way to actually set it up. This section is going to allow you to export your data. So we're going to click on the three lines. And what I mean by that is basically exporting all of your data, including your profiles and your game saves. Now, this is very important for the sake of if you have different devices, if you want to back up your data to uh, an external hard drive or anything like that and restore it. Say you un uninstalled this application and reinstalled it for whatever reason, you can actually import your game saves so that you don't lose them. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the three lines at the top. We're going to go to our tools. We're going to go to import export data. Now we can export our game data specifically. Go to our N64 folder. Now I have a folder called M64 data. I'm just going to create another one for YouTube. So YouTube data. Click use this folder. Click allow. Now it's going to export my game data. So if I go to my files, I'm going to show you that data being exported for just our Donkey Kong Country game that we just played. So N64, YouTube data, M64 plus game data right there. So now... Again, if I were to delete that game data from this game, then I would be able to import it by using import game data. Go to my YouTube data folder, go to M64, go to game data, and then I'm going to use this folder and it's going to import that game data. Now exporting our cheats and profiles. You might want to save your game controller profile and I'm going to do that right here. So YouTube data, use this folder, click allow. Now it exported that profile to that folder. Now I'm going to go to my YouTube data, go to, to my M64 plus FZ, go to profiles, and there's my controller configuration file, which is very helpful so that you don't have to reset that back up. So let's say I ended up changing my profile for any reason. I go into that folder, go to profiles, use this folder, click allow. Now that has imported that profile. Now I already have this profile imported, but you can test this out on your own if you want to by uninstalling the app and then reinstalling it and checking it out. Now, another way that you can actually save all of your data internally on your device, rather than having it save externally, which is basically your Android data folder, is to go to your settings, go down to data, go to game data storage location and set this to external. Now you're going to select the folder where you want to save all of your game data. So we're going to select external game data. I'm going to go to my N64 folder and I'm going to rename this to YTube and I'm going to select use this folder, click allow. Now, anytime I'm inside of a game, for example, so if I go back into Donkey Kong Country, click resume. Now I'm going to click a save state slot, click back, click exit, click OK. Now, if I go out of my game, go to my files, Go to my folder that I just created called YTube data, game data. There's all my game data right there. That game data specifically saves to that folder without having to do anything. So that just saves everything instead of having to actually worry about exporting anything if you don't want to have to worry about the export feature. And this saves to our external SD card. Now this part's going to show you how to load textures. I'm not a big fan of textures, but maybe you are. Some texture packs come in the form of a .zip, some come in the form of a .htc file. Now, these texture packs I have here are found in the link in the description below. This one has an .htc file located in a zip file, so you have to long press it, click the three dots and extract it, which I already have it extracted to this folder. These texture packs are called rice format texture packs and they're in the form of .png files. So don't unextract that file. Now, I'm just going to show you The Legend of Zelda today. So we're going to go into our M64. We're going to go to the three dots. We're going to go to Tools. Go to Add Texture Pack. Click Select This File. Now I'm going to go to my N64 folder. 
I'm going to go to my textures folder and I'm going to select that HTC file, click OK, and it's going to load that texture pack in. Now, how we actually load that texture pack, we have to select the game, we have to go down to settings, go down to emulation profile. Now we're going to select either accurate, fast, medium, or very accurate where it says four hires texture packs. I'm going to select medium and that's going to be good enough for this game. I'm going to click back, click resume. It's going to do its thing by loading these texture packs in and there it goes. Sometimes the texture packs take a while. This one didn't actually take too long and the HTC pack doesn't take long at all. Basically what it's changing is this menu. We can go to our menu and look at the different menu that we have here and this looks like the menu from the Nintendo 3DS. So that's basically texture packs. It's very straightforward, very easy, and very simple to actually load. Now for games that have the .zip format, so I'm going to go back to texture packs, click add texture pack, click file, go to Super Mario 64, click OK. This one takes a while to unpack it, and it also takes a while to actually load it. So I'll click on Mario 64, go to settings, but it doesn't take too long. So we're going to go to our profile, emulation profile, go medium, click back, now go resume game and let it do its thing. It's just loading all the texture packs there on the right left hand side, but it does load it after you're done. And there we go. There's the texture pack. Not sure if you like it, but Mario looks like he's having a good time. This section is going to cover cheats. So let's go exit. Let's click OK. We have to select the game again. We have to go down to settings. We have to go down to cheats. Now, this gives you the option to show the built-in cheats or hide them. You can actually enter your own cheat codes if you can find cheat codes online. I'm not going to show you that part because they have a lot of cheats already set up for us. As you can see, I have a cheat set up that allows me to have everything. I'm going to activate another cheat called Infinite Rupees. I'm going to go back out. You can only activate these cheats while you're in this menu, and then you have to start the game. And when you're in the game, it'll actually load them. So let's load that slot. And let's check out how many rupees we got here. And look at them go. Infinite rupees right there. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically how to load our cheats from our, uh, our save menu or settings menu. And allow us to have the master shield. We can't get the master sword for some reason. But I don't really use cheats too much. As again, I think you can only hold the master sword when you're... Uh, big link i guess <laughs> so even the mirror shield but it says that we have all this stuff and we just can't use everything so and i have the ocarina i have the ocarina and i haven't even left the forest don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this content or this channel because i share emulation guides and other content about mobile gaming have a nice day go enjoy playing nintendo 64 on your odin 2